How's it going guys? Take a seat sir here with another Call of Duty World War II The Darkest Shore Zombies video on how to open the freezer or the room with the human key. To do this you'll need to have turned on the power and built and upgraded the saw into the rip saw and links on how to do both of these will be in the description below. Once you've done that you'll need to make your way outside of the bunker where the weapon station is to the curved staircase with the chained inverted corpse right below Pack-a-Punch. You'll take the rip saw and sever the head from the corpse where it'll land on the ground and you'll pick it up. Take this head down to the U-boat room, located by the first power switch, or alternatively where one of the three minecart entrances is located. You should see the headless man that's strapped to the door on the left wall, and the head you just picked up is the key. Attach the head to the body and it'll activate a soul jar phase. Kill about 16 zombies to push this into the last phase and arguably one of the hardest parts of the entire easter egg if you do it incorrectly. Once you fill the soul jar, Strad will start talking for a good 30 seconds. Then the floor will begin to systematically catch on fire. There are three valves in the corners of the room, one by the staircase into the U-boat room, and one in either corner flanking the human key. The three tiles underneath the valve shutoffs are on fire and will individually turn off for a small period of time, randomly. The key to surviving this is having Shell Shock with the Sustain Zone mod. This mod AoE stuns anything in its graphic for the duration of the effect. If you have 2 plus people run these, then you'll have no problem. What you need to do is use Shell Shock as soon as the fire starts appearing on the ground. Have everyone group together and then use your first Shell Shock. This will basically AoE stun the entire room and cover most of the fired tiles. Now it's really just a waiting game. You need to wait and watch the valves and see which floor tile under which valve will turn off and then run to that valve and turn it off while someone's covering you. The trick with Shell Shock though is that you do not kill any of the zombies that are stunned in Shell Shock. When you kill them, it causes more zombies to spawn in that are not stunned, and then it's just more chaos and more running. If you leave them stunned, then there will be a maximum amount of zombies that can spawn at one time, and they will all be stunned, and then you just wait for the valves to come open one at a time. After your first shell shock goes down, just group back together, and then call out for your second shell shock, and do the same exact thing. Two full shell shocks should take you to about all three valves, but there might be just a little bit of running around. Or if you get a full heart meter, that could be lucky as well. Once you turn off all three valves, the fire will stop appearing, and you're pretty much done. You just open the door and then kill the Bruner that appears, and that's it. Happy zombie hunting, and good luck with the rest of the Easter egg. Didn't go down. Didn't even notice. I didn't either. <laughs> we got we got this part figured out though. Finally, I think the first like ten times we've done it, it was it was just ridiculous. Dude. Go quick. All right, he's dead. Let's go. Go ahead and comment below if this guide helped you at all, or if you want to see a video on another topic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this has been Take a Seat.